Hi, and welcome to clinic. My name is Dr. Herring, and I'll be taking care of you today. I am given to understand that you are looking for a complete and comprehensive cardiac exam. I'll be honest, we don't get that request often, but not only is it my job to keep you healthy and make you healthy, it's to address your concerns about your health. So happy to do it. For my physical exam, I will need to put my hands on you. But before we do that, I do have a few questions. Are you currently experiencing any chest pain or have you recently? Great. Any palpitations? Like your heart's fluttering. Great. Any shortness of breath when you shouldn't be short of breath? I think we, we all get short of breath walking up a few flights of stairs. That's okay. But nothing new or nothing's changed. Great. How far do you suppose you could walk before you get short of breath? Yeah. Okay what I thought, but I always have to ask. Have you ever been diagnosed with a cardiac illness? Things like high blood pressure or coronary artery disease, heart failure, anything like that. Okay. Any other medical history I should know about? Okay, great. Any diseases run in your family? Anyone with high blood pressure, diabetes? Okay. Any cancers run in the family? Pretty healthy. What do you do for work? Oh. I probably couldn't do that, <laughs> if I'm completely honest. Yeah, I can doctor, but I can't do much else. <laughs> okay, and do you smoke? Uh, any alcohol use? Okay. And any drug use? No, it's not judgmental. It's just important to know. Well, actually, cocaine can cause your coronary arteries, the arteries in your heart, to spasm and close temporarily. Not ideal. Always got to ask. Anything about your health history that you'd like me to know that I didn't ask about? Great. All right. We have you hop up here on the bed and uh, wait your exam started. All right, great. Ready? Okay. I promise it won't hurt. Sure, yeah, I'm happy to explain everything I'm doing. Absolutely. So first, my hand on your chest. What I'm looking for is something called the point of maximal impact. I want to make sure that where I can feel your heart the strongest is in the right spot. Feels fine. It would suggest something like heart failure or some sort of dilated cardiomyopathy, which just means your heart gets a little bit big if it wasn't in the right spot, but yours feels fine. I'm going to take a listen. Breathe normally through your mouth, please.
and take a deep breath and hold it. And relax. What I'm listening for here are your heart valves looking for murmurs. When I ask you to take a deep breath, that's really just for me, so I can hear it a little bit better. So yeah, that's right. Sometimes when you breathe, the noise of the air going back and forth obstructs my hearing just a little bit. And it gets a little bit uh, loud in there. Let's continue. Deep breath and hold it. And relax. Pulmonic valve sounds fine. A little bit lower. Deep breath and hold it. And relax. Tricuspid sounds fine. And I'll give you a moment to catch your breath. I know it's a lot of deep breathing. Okay, great. And mitral valve over here to the side. Deep breath and hold it. Great. No murmurs, no extra heart sounds, nothing, nothing sinister. Okay, great. What we're now is have you look to that direction. All I'm looking for in your neck here is to make sure I don't see anything obvious like fluid back up. If you were in heart failure, I would see some fluid in your neck veins backing up, which I don't. Okay, go ahead and look to the other side. Take a look at the other side here. Great. And take a listen to your neck. Take a deep breath and hold it. And relax, good. And the other side. Deep breath and hold it, that's right. Great, relax. Now sometimes we can have plaque build up in the arteries in our neck and that's not ideal as you might imagine but you sound fine. I don't hear a brewy or anything like that. So I'm gonna have you look in that direction. I'm gonna press on your belly. What I'm looking for is to see if I can push blood out of your belly. Sometimes it goes to the neck. It's one of the tests we use. You wanted this to be comprehensive, so we're gonna do comprehensive. Take a deep breath and out nice and slow. Yeah, this is the uncomfortable part, I'm sorry. Okay, great. Relax. All right, just a couple more things I want to listen for. First of all, I want to make sure you have in your belly no abdominal aortic aneurysms. Usually I can feel them if they're big, or I can hear them if they're not so big, but they're still there. And that'll check your legs. First, just gonna push on your belly just a little bit lighter than the last time. That was the most painful part, I know. Okay, I don't feel anything. Take a quick listen. Great. No, there's no, um, there's no lung or airway spaces down there, so I can't hear you breathe from down there. <laughs> Good pickup, though. All right, last part. I'm just going to take a look at your ankles real quick. Have you noticed any swelling in your ankles lately? Yeah, I think we all kind of get sock lines, but when you wake up, they're gone. Great. No, no fluid there. It's one of the places fluid likes to back up if you're in heart failure, so. All right. Seems like everything is fine. You have peace of mind, good. That's what we like to hear. You want more things examined? Well, you have to run. Okay. Well, I have extended hours next week. Um, cranial nerve exam? Absolutely, I can do that. 
Yeah, internal medicine, we do pretty much everything. Great. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Tell you what, when you go pick up your paperwork from the front desk, make sure you schedule it with me. Again, Dr. Herring. And I will see you next week for your cranial nerve exam. Great, it was nice to meet you too. Take care.